Okay. We have a uh, 16 inches MacBook Pro 2021. Liquid damage, no power. Um, this is coming from a repair shop, so if the screws we already have, the back screws would have been taken out already. The model number is uh, A2485. So, this screw is already out. Like I said, it's coming from another repair shop. Uh, liquid damage. Let's see what we have. Okay. Uh, what we want to do is we want to take out the board because it's a liquid damage device. So we want to take out the board so we can have a comprehensive that yeah, the battery battery school is taken out. Uh, and also the cable as well as uh, the battery data cable has already, already been disconnected. So because it's a liquid damage device, we want to take out the logic board to have uh, a comprehensive idea of what is going on on the board. We are not going to apply power yet because we do not know the state of the device. First thing we want to do is we want to take out the logic board. Taking out the logic board will give us um, uh, uh, we we give us a, a chance to to see everything that that liquid has affected on the board. So um, when you are working on a liquid damage device, until you are sure what is affected and what is not affected, you should not introduce power. Because if you do so, you may just uh, be escalating or you may, you may be causing more damage uh, to the device. So I just use a T5 to take a couple of screws. Uh, that's uh, the tox. Uh, the, the tox screwdriver. Now I'm using a, P, a T4. So I, I like to I like to have a, like an order in my screw removal. So I start from either from my right to the left or from the left to to the right. When you don't know, uh, when you when you have no idea what's what's uh, the extent of your liquid you don't want to introduce power because at that time you might just be uh, creating more, more more damage on the board especially uh, uh, with the with your screen uh, 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 with your device so with liquid seen on your device you don't want to introduce power you don't want to so first thing first you want to have an an overview of exactly what type of issue that liquid has generated on your board after then uh, afterwards you can now the you can then make a an informed decision as to whether it is okay to disconnect um, to 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 connect the charger or no. Okay, screws are out. Now we want to disconnect the cables. I will miss one screw here. T five. Okay.
I'm, uh, I'm quite exhausted. Uh, it's been a long day. It's been a really long day. So with this board, uh, what you do is you want to take out, you want to take it out from the from 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 your left to the right. So because you have the HDMI port, it's, it's, uh, uh, you have the HDMI port protruding out of the shell. So you want to take the board out from your left to the right. So that should generally be uh, the, 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 the way you go about uh, boards. I mean, especially, uh, so the reason why we're taking it out from this side is because of uh, uh, the protruding here. So it will be difficult obviously, to take it out from this side. So rather you take it out from, from your left hand side. The board is out, put the, the shell aside, and let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, uh, this is the board. Uh, there, there doesn't seem to be uh, so much damages. So let's uh, let's go over the board and see if there's anything we can pick up. Okay, uh, we have a bit of liquid in this section of the board here, uh, here. Uh, so, um, let's check the other side of the board. We have the grid here, here. We have a bit also here. We have a bit of liquid this side as well. So right now what we want to do is we want to find out, uh, we want to find out what this is. So we want to open our foot view Flex board view and uh, the board number. Let's just quickly get to the board number. It's our board number. Okay, it's uh, 820 Let's see, it's zero zero twenty one hundred. Uh, where are you? It's zero zero twenty one hundred. It's zero zero twenty one hundred. Okay, there we go. It's zero zero twenty one hundred. So that is a logic board. So what we want to find out is uh, we want to see what this is. So click over to the other side of the board. That will be this chip here u5700 what is u5700 so u5700 that is a 53v3 aon so that's that is always on okay uh let's open the schematic and then find out um uh let's know more about that so the board number is uh 820-02100 uh here you go okay so um that that for the section of the board it's u5700 u5700 now let's uh go to u5700 u5700 okay now u5700 it's a three volt uh 3.8 uh aon will, will stand for always on uh, controller so this is this is pretty important so um, I mean if this is affected what will then happen it's you will not have 
your uh, your 3.8 volt present and if you're 3. Point, so th this is pretty much um, this is a critical rail so let's see if that is going to be alighted here uh, uh, see if that's going to be alighted here uh, I'm trying to see if, if they say okay yeah so let's see what does it say description uh, critical critical okay so u5700 it's critical see that's it u5700 uh, let's just go show this uh, uh, the u5700 u5700 the, you see the specifications here it says that it's critical U5700, it's what is critical. So now, let's see what was affected um, exactly. So let's try to clean it up just a little bit. Try to clean that out. So uh, let's, let's see. The, the issue. Okay. So uh, we have that. There seems to be a resistor at the in between. Let's see what that is. Yes, this. So that is uh, AON. So this resistor seems to be what was mostly affected, which is there. So what we want to do is we want to remove that everything here, and then uh, and then clean and then replace. So especially that resistor, it's going to be our main issue. Okay, now those are uh, all of those components are out. What we now want to do is we want to clean that section. U5700 itself is not damaged, so um, so we, we want to get a board exactly like this one to replace the components. But before we do that, we will, you know, dress the section to make sure we get in a clean area to replace the component on. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to apply a bit of solder. A bit of solder. Oh, by, by the way, shout out to um, my living legend, uh, Louis Rossman. He's, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's my, my teacher, my role model, my my everything. You know, he, he's just an amazing guy who... Uh, who has done so much for the, the, the repair industry. He yeah, does so much. Uh, yeah. The, he, he is, you know, I, I, can't, I can't only imagine how many persons uh, he has empowered positively to do repairs. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, is uh he is an amazing guy. Shout out to Lewis Ross man. is my teacher and he inspires me a lot
personally he inspires me a lot and uh, and so much that he has contributed to the repair industry so much he has contributed so much to the repair industry So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to repair the area before we get a replacement. Let's uh, get a donor board. This is our donor board, which I'll be taking the components we need from here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be replacing the resistor first because it's, uh, it's, it's the smallest of the components there. That way I will be able to see Okay, that's it. We want to clean the section and then uh, see if we have a uh, 3.8 volt present. If we do, that, that's a good thing. And then we can put the board in the shell and test to see if we have a walking board. Cleaning the section, we show that uh, we have a clean area. So let us uh, let's connect our DC jack and see what we have.
Okay. Let's see. Connect the my charger. Let's see what we have in our PP bus. Okay, PP bus is 12.0. That's good. Let's see what we have on our charger DC in. Expect into our 20 volt. See? Great, we have 20 volt. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, 20 volt. Okay, so that that seemed very positive. The next thing we want to do now is we want to put it in our shell and see if we have a functioning machine. And yeah, then we can continue from there. Remember how we took the board out? We will be doing the same thing. Uh, the right hand, the, the, the right side of the board will go in first, and then the left. So, so many cables I need to go out of the way. So many cables in this one that needs to be <clears throat> out of the way. Okay, all of our cables are now out to be connected. Now let's uh, connect our cables.
I'm going to install the test uh, battery screw just for us to to test. Uh, yeah, then we hope that it works. <clears throat> so I install a test battery screw. <clears throat> the newer design, the battery screw is on the native trackpad cable. That's just the refreshed version of the 16 inches. Okay, let's put a, at least a, one or two screws to hold it in place. Okay. Uh, I hope it works. Mm, we're not getting feedback from the trackpad. Okay. Mm. Let's see what we have in our PP bus again. Okay, we've got a child. And that's an Apple logo. Uh, the trackpad. Okay, uh, we don't have. Okay, we have movement, but there's no haptic feedback on the trackpad. Keyboard works? Yeah, keyboard works. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Uh...